Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like, uh, it's uh, hilarious because uh, it looks like Hollywood may be in trouble, and I mean in trouble, I mean in trouble by China. But who cares about, um, who cares about Hollywood, honestly, and honestly China or anything that China does, besides, besides them wanting to start a war with Taiwan and, you know, um, you know, trying to influence our stuff. So, that being said, there is being a warning here by China. But, I digress. I hope Hollywood does not follow the trope. Because, um, yeah, we don't want any of this garbage here. But, apparently, China says otherwise. China tells Hollywood to respect Chinese culture or get banned. In a rare occurrence, the Chinese, pop Chinese Communist Party comments on the tenuous relationship between the Middle Kingdom and Hollywood. The party's propaganda department warns studio execs to respect Chinese culture and values or prepare to have calm have films banned from Chinese theaters, as reported by Bloomberg. The Communist Party Central Committee's Publicity Department, also known as the Central Propaganda Department, released a statement through its vice minister, Sun Yili, he said. We hope the quality of the American films can continue to be improved on the basis of respecting our culture, customs, and audience behaviors. We will import from whichever countries that make better films and films that are more suitable for the taste of Chinese audience. The propaganda department has been the authority responsible for overseeing television and film and its censorship since 2018. Not wrong. Since 2020, since 2021, the Chinese Communist Party's centennial money, money of Hollywood's biggest titles have been kept from the Chinese theaters. Despite the fact many of these films have fulfilled the censorship requirements, they were never given a release date. Marvel Studios projects have been the clearest example with every installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Black Widow being kept from theatrical release in China. Even superheroes can't beat the censors. These films have more often than not had a major controversy attached in the lead up to the, their premiere's dates. Shang Chi and The Legend of the Rings, for example, which was perceived many by many to be Disney and Marvel Studios to further their appeal to Chinese audiences, was hit with controversy shortly before it was scheduled for release. An interview from 2017 research re service featuring star films Simu Liu explained why his family immigrated from communist China. Similarly, Eternals was banned shortly before it hit theaters after an old interview with the director Shelley. Zhao resurfaced in which he described China as a place where their lies are everywhere. It is believed these films were barred so there would be less competition for the public and if theaters were ordered to screen throughout 2021. Um, let me put this in perspective for you guys here. Is that Disney and Hollywood because they work with each other is that they have to push this movement. They have to push this thing to where uh to where they have to uh, I idolize with the far left and um, and put forward a diversity in this type of crap. But the thing is, you can't have black people in your movies if you're going to cater to China because Chinese Chinese or China in particular is very racist towards black people. So that being said, you cannot have them in your movies. Well, if you have to cater to the leftist ideology, you have to put them in your movies. So it's either they cater very hard to their very far leftist ideology, or they don't, and they just remove black people from all their movies, and that's going to cause a huge problem with the far left. So now Hollywood's stuck between having to cater to China or cater to, uh, or cater to, um, to the U.S. far leftism or the West far leftism, far le far leftism. Oh my God, the far leftists, which is again not going to do them any good, because the specifically saying is that if they have to cater to Chinese to the Chinese for their for their for their culture, which is obviously vastly different to the to the Western culture or the U.S. culture, then there's not much that they can really get away with, because their movies are also in in the US are actually not doing that well. I mean, without honestly without the Chinese market, I don't think that their movies would be doing super well to begin with. Because a lot of their movies and stuff are being far woke or far left type stuff and it's not doing well. Let's go look at the Lord of the Rings show that's coming up and see what happens. I don't think that show is going to do very well because what they're doing to specific characters so, I mean, we'll see what happens. But, as we said, it's like, if you're going to have some of these things here, I don't see how things are going to go well. 
goes on to say, until recently, the Chinese box office was on track to become the most lucrative movie market in the world, with a reported box office value of $7 billion, meaning the loss of the market impacted the overall success of Hollywood's blockbusters greatly. Films such as Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and, Number and No Time to Die stru struggled to reach the same financial success as their predecessors, though it should be noted that some of these were releasing during the height of coronavirus COVID-19. Oh, please. That is not the reason why. If that was the case, then a lot of the actual Pacific movies that were from anime wouldn't be doing as well either. You don't have that excuse. People will go out and see movies or whatever if they can. And they and that's what they will. That's what they'll do. Again, anime movies are going to be outclassing American movies very soon because the American movies keep on have to keep on putting this woke BS into their shit and it's not going to work. Stop trying to make the COVID-19 pandemic thing like part of the reason why your movies are not doing well. Because we all know why your movies are not doing well. They're not doing well because they're terrible. They're garbage. They're not being as good. Your Phase 4 Marvel is not, it's not all that great. Thor? Yeah, sure. It made like maybe $500 million. Why isn't doing more than that? You barely made profit off of your movie, right? And it's just going to keep on going down and down and down until you realize that these movies are now being profitable. But I don't think they care. I think they just want to push a narrative. They want to push the agenda. So no, we're not going to. I'm not going to blame COVID-19 because I have seen um, because it was only like a year ago when when the when Demon Slayer was released their movie and they made 500 million. So we can't say that it's a pandemic when you have an anime movie, which is obviously going to be inferior to what we would say to Western movies in general, make $500 million and then blame that on the COVID-19 COVID pandemic, where that's, that's the issue. That's not the issue. And I also don't think it's the issue either to where it's not in theaters, because you push, you, because again, if people really wanted to see your stuff, they would go see it, but they don't, because your movies are terrible. In recent years, Hollywood studios have faced increasing backlash over the, their notable efforts to reshape their films to the standards of China's state censors. Since 2021, studios have ev evidently shifted their attitudes and adopted more passive policy. Disney CEO Bob Chapek previously stated in a post-earnings conference call, we continue to submit our films for police, and it's worth noting, I think, though, that, th that at the time that we are having some difficulty in getting our films in China, that Dr. Strange did extraordinarily well. This man is coping right now. Okay, yeah, sure. You had Multiverse, which you have a whole bunch of people that will go see your movie regardless of what it is, not stand up to what it, what is actual reality and want to stand up for their ideals. And, yeah, they'll watch anything because it looks cool or the effects looks cool. We have to boil it down to the actual issues at hand of what is going on with these movies and how bad they are. Let's go watch EFAP. And go watch maybe a little bits of stuff on to breaking down these movies on how terrible they are. Because we all all we want to do is sit down and watch, but we don't criticize these movies because they're not because nobody wants to take the time to do it. Just rewatch the movie again and then realize on how terrible the movies are. They're not good. And people are tired of these movies. Go look at She-Hulk where that's not doing good. Go look at all these other movies. And people just want to watch movies that are not that are not woke, all right? And that's just plain and simple. But now that we have movies like this to where they're all going to be, well, where, where Hollywood is stuck, if they don't cater to the Chinese culture, then they're going to lose billions or probably millions and millions of dollars by not catering to the Chinese culture. Because, because by uh, by not putting in China, because if they do that, then they don't their movies and everything is going to cease to exist to be doing good at all. Period. Plain and simple. If they don't and they cater to China, if they don't cater to the left of stuff and they don't put black people or whatever they, or gay people or etc. stuff in their actual movies, then the far left on their side are going to have a huge problem with. Uh, they're not going to do well in America because nobody would want to go see the movies because they doesn't have the diversity people in there. And then normal people in general that do, that don't want to see the movie, their all their own their only revenue would be mostly from China. So they are in a stuck they're in a stuck they're in a rock and a hard place. They're not going to make revenue regardless of what side they choose.
They can't cater to it. So now they're really stuck. And now they have to figure out on how to do this. And the only way that they can fix the problem and actually get money that is well-deserved is cater to the to the more western base to what, what wants to watch the stuff and not and drop the far left stuff. You drop the far left stuff and you put it you'll be making your money. But if you don't, you're just screwed. And again, this is Disney did this to themselves and I cannot uh, Disney and Hollywood did it themselves and I cannot wait until Hollywood implodes because it's about damn time they do so. Find somebody that puts in that that does hard work and gets the job done. And I can't wait till Daily Wire and their new shows to really start popping off and start bringing in stuff that people enjoy and want to watch. So that way we can fight Disney and we can fight Hollywood because that shit needs to go. I'm tired of it. Let's bring back actual good movies, please. And good shows. And enjoy our life and get rid of this woke BS. At the time is coming, friends. And I don't think Hollywood is going to have a very good, good, uh, good awakening. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.